Hey, I want to make a quick video on the isValid function and what it's useful for and what it's not useful for. This is a very useful function. In fact, it basically tells you whether something's pending garbage collection or not. And you can replace most of all your null pointer checks with this. However, the caveat is that don't be misled. You know, this is still constrained to the rules of C++. And if a pointer has been garbage collected, it doesn't have a really a way to know that just from a raw pointer in of itself. So don't be tempted to use this in place of two weak object pointers. And to show what I mean by that, I've written some tests over here. And what we have here is we have a static pointer to this test is valid function calls object. And if I look at that, it's just a very slim class with a value in it, which is an int32. And so we have a raw pointer to global variable pointer. And then we have a weak object pointer, which points to the same object, at least that's the intention. So we have these two pointers, and then I have a series of console commands to run to test things. The first one will actually create a new object and assign it to that global pointer up here. And then the next line of that assigns that global pointer to the weak object pointer up here. This will allow us to inspect things. And the second console command, we have a is valid weak pointer check. So we ask the weak pointer if it's valid. And then we have an is valid check where we just pass in the raw pointer and then we lock it. And lastly, I have a pointer running through some marking garbage, checking is it valid before the mark garbage, and then if it's valid after the mark garbage and seeing how they compare. So let's test this real quick and see where is valid is actually useful. So to debug this, I'll just drop breakpoints on each of these commands. And I just added a space here to separate the pointers from the commands. All right, now with breakpoints and all of these test functions, so I can copy this first command, and if I go to the editor, I can run it down here. And we've hit our breakpoint, creating objects. And so if I step over this, we can see that the global variable is now a valid address, and the same thing with the weak pointer. Now what I'll do is I'll copy this and run it. Go back to the editor and run our second command. There hasn't been a lot of time, so it's unlikely that the garbage collector has already collected this. So if I look at the global pointer, it still looks like a valid address, but if I look at the weak pointer, it looks like it's also still valid. And so this test should return valid for both of these. So is weak valid is true, and is valid is also true. If I go back to the editor and I say gc force, force collection every frame, turn that on, I should now get garbage collection very frequently, and I can run that test again, test objects. And if I mouse over the weak object pointer, we see that it's stale. So the is valid is going to return false. And then when we call the function is valid on the raw pointer, so this is just a raw pointer. It is not a u property or anything, just a raw pointer. So if you did a lambda capture, it would be very similar to this situation. And the is valid check is still turning true. So if you have a raw pointer, you have the same situation with the is valid check as you did with a null pointer check. You need it to be a u property so that it gets cleared out by the garbage collector and set to null pointer. Or if you don't have the context of a u property, you need to make sure that you're using a weak object pointer. So this is really showing up with capturing and lambdas. The is valid check isn't magic. It can't know that this address was cleaned up. It's just an address, right? So there's nothing magic happening here. So I resumed, and you might be asking, well, if it can't detect when a pointer has been freed, there's nothing like low level happening there, what is the use of is valid? And so that's what this test here is for. So I'm going to copy and paste this command in the editor. And this test is going to just new up a new object immediately. We set it to the global pointer, so we have a new address, and then we set the weak pointer to this, so it's no longer stale. So we have a valid object here, and I'm going to call it is valid on it. And that returns true. But now what I'll do is I'm going to mark it as garbage. So we're saying, hey, garbage collector, claim this object, take it back, give us the memory back. After I mark it for garbage, I'm going to call it as valid again. And we'll see it now it returns false. So before we marked it, it was true. And after we marked it, it's false. That's the power of as valid. It tells you early if something's going to be garbage collected. Now, if this pointer was a U property, eventually it would return become a null pointer and it would return false for is valid as well. But in context where you don't have your properties, so like lambda captures or just raw pointers that are manually managed, 
is valid isn't going to help you there. So that's the, I guess, caveat that you need to be aware of. It's still very useful. And so if we look at what is valid is doing, is valid is first testing it for null. So if it's null pointer, it's going to return false. Then it checks basically some very lightweight flags on the object for if it's being garbage collected, etc. And so that's really all is valid is doing for you. And this actually, at first glance, this might not seem that useful. You might think, well, if it's going to be garbage collected eventually, just I'll just take everything for null pointer. But there's two contexts where this shows up as being important. And so if I resume, we can take a look at that. Here I have two actors that are basically spawning audio. And if we don't want to play the audio while the other audio is still playing. And so if I run into this, we hear it play. But it didn't play again when I overlapped. But if I walk now that it's done, it plays. And so if you look at the top, you can see on the client, there's an is valid check and a null pointer does not equal zero check. So in the actor overlap, it checks, is it valid? And if it's valid, it doesn't spawn another one. But if it's not valid, then it'll spawn an audio component. And because they're set to auto destroy, this will clean up itself, mark for garbage, but it may not be actually set to garbage for a while, but we're okay going ahead and playing the audio again. So you see here, notice the top line, it'll go green when they're, when is valid and the null pointer check are both true. And it'll go yellow when is valid is false and null pointer check is still true. And then it'll go red when both are null pointer. So if I step in, it's green, the is valid check is true and the null pointer check is not, is true. And now we just lost the is valid, but it's not no point check is still true. It hasn't been garbage collected yet, at least on the client. So it's yellow for that. And if we wait long enough, eventually the garbage will collect the audio component. But I can go ahead and play another one. And we've spawned a new one. It's still is valid. And the audio finish, marked garbage, no longer is valid. And so we can immediately play another one. That's the benefit of is valid. And if I wait long enough, the pointer will get garbage collected eventually. So I resumed and it is just now collected the garbage. So now everything's not out again. And the same thing is true for visual effects. So if we go to a level where I can test Niagara and play here, some confetti will spawn and it is set to auto destroy. And we don't want to respawn it until it's actually done. So if I go in, we can see that the no pointer check is, it's not no pointer and the Isabella check is true. Both are true. And eventually the confetti particle disappears and we're able to spawn it again now, but it can't keep spawning it until it's done. It's a little hard to see the effect, but if you look close to the cylinder, you'll see the effect happen. So there's the effect. We're waiting for it to clean up, auto destroy, and now it's the SL check went to zero, but it's still not no pointer. And so if we look at the overlap for this test, we again use the is valid and not the null pointer check. And if it is valid, then we don't need to spawn it because it's still playing. So we just log that we shouldn't spawn it. But if it's not valid, then we can spawn another one. And so we call a function here to spawn it and assign it to the component, which we will later check with is valid. So I hope that helps. Is valid isn't magic, but it is very useful when you're properly managing pointers, like here where we have a U property. So the U property ensures that the garbage collector will null pointer this out and the is valid will detect this null and return false for is valid. But before the garbage collector collects this component, it'll be able to tell that it was marked for garbage and will be collected. So you can use it to immediately know when your particle or sound systems have been cleaned up. And I'm sure there's other cases in the engine where it, it's helpful, but do not be misled. You know, it's not magic. So if you have a raw pointer, like we had in the case of the test over here, this raw pointer right here, like this raw pointer here, it can't detect that if there's no U property to zero it out. And where this could show up very easily is if you did something like a lambda capture. So if we like captured the pointer here and we executed the my lambda and inside of the lambda we did something like if is valid global pointer. This check here, this check here is not safe. The is valid isn't going to be able to tell because this isn't a U property. It's just a raw pointer. So what you should use is instead of capturing the global thing here, we should capture that and we should check it manually. We should check the weak pointer is valid. And there is probably a little more overhead in doing that, but this is how you guarantee that it's safe. So I hope that helps and makes sense. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or corrections in the comments below. 
and until next time.